Hi everyone and welcome to my place. If you are on a budget and you are looking for a really great idea in which you can have beautiful flowers on your tables, let me just show you what I have here. A little daisy terrarium. And the daisies that I've used are from the side of the road. I absolutely love it. And I've kind of cheated it by putting in one of these artificial daisies. Now, the reason I came up with this is, and you're gonna think I'm losing the plot, but I had a, my mother's been dead for nearly four years and she was in my dreams. And my mother being involved in crafts is a very big thing because she was never really that keen on it. But anyway, she said, I've got a good idea with all of those glasses that you have at your place. Why don't don't you go and get a cookie cutter and take a plug of grass with some daisies, put it into a little container and put some stones with it and it would be lovely for a girl for her wedding. So that is exactly what I have done and no I'm not losing the plot but it is a great idea. Very, very easy to put together. I, you could either use a little fish bowl like I've got here or if you had a glass you could just use glasses but you need to remember that the the opening of the glass needs to be wide enough so that you can take your plug of grass with some daisies on it and put it into it. Now the other interesting thing, story I need to tell you is I was out gathering these on Sunday which is a couple of days ago and my dentist who I saw on Monday asked me what I thought I was doing at the White Rural Reserve, which is not far away from here, with knife and basket. And when I told him what I was doing, he said to me, now that is a good idea, but there were many people watching me. But anyway, this is what I've done here. I've just gone and with my cookie cutter, I just did a, a plug into the grass, turned it around, and then I used the knife to get down underneath to dig it out. And I wanted as much of the, the soil and the root structure of the daisy as I could because I didn't know whether they were going to last. So, which now brings me to what I need to share with you now. These I picked on Sunday, so today is now Tuesday, and I've just put a little bit of water down the bottom into the base here. And these little daisies are still doing really well. So I think that it's quite a good thing that you could do several days in advance of your wedding and then on the day of your wedding you just need to get somebody to place them onto the tables fantastic idea sometimes I think those simple ideas are the best so anyway with your container or whatever you're using make sure it's wide enough so that you can get your little flowers down into there make sure that your glass is perfectly clean and there might be a little bit that you might have to clean in the inside but for now this is fine okay so where is the one that I found this little one here and I don't want that one I think I want this one <gasps> here being very careful with those little daisies and it just got caught there we are right so getting that like so very very easy and just gently place that down into your container like so and then just getting a few stones just very gently just deposit those down in around the base of the soil but to be perfectly honest I love to see that this the little mound of soil in there I think it just adds to it and it's those little I love those little encapsulated moments botanical moments where you can get outside and you know just bring do your arrangement and then bringing those the great outdoors inside so that's about as much as I'm going to put into there and then just getting a little artificial daisy that could just be pushed down into there like so and I've also got these other little daisies and by putting a little bit of water into there, not too much, you could actually just get these wee daisies. And I am absolutely surprised at how long these have actually lasted. So just very gently, just putting those down into there. So that you've, and you don't need very many. I don't think that you need very many. So there we have, let me just wipe that little mess there. And then let me just give you a wee whirl of what that looks like. Isn't that just beautiful? I think that nature is just one of the most 
beautiful things that we here on earth need to really, really appreciate and value. So there we have some, the three of them I've made here and I just thought that for a wedding you could just have these running down the table or you could cluster them or the other thing that I discovered when I was having a wee hunt out is this mirror tile and I thought that even that on the table with a couple of candles or even just a few little stones and then just a few little daisies just all placed amongst the stones could be a wonderful look. I hope you've enjoyed this, I've enjoyed sharing it with you and I look forward to seeing you all again another day. Mm -hmm.